piggy, piggy, piggy. Here, piggy, piggy, piggy. Hi, pig. Can you give me a hat, please? You got one to spare, right? Pig? Yes! I have a towering pillar of hats. Oop. <laughs> ah! I'm trying to kill myself looking at the hats. Uh, hello, and welcome back to my Let's Play with the Magic Maiden mod pack. I got a lot of good feedback from last time, mostly that I need something to talk about. The problem is that, uh, whenever I get started with doing things like this, I get nervous. I'm kind of an introvert, so anything I do like this is different. It's... How do I put it? <laughs> it's almost like I'm shy. Except if you meet me in real life, you'll never know it, because I interact with people a lot better than I do with, say, the internet. I like to bury myself behind code, and... Well, code doesn't talk back. Code does exactly what you tell it to. And it doesn't do anything other than what you want. Whoa. Hello. Uh... <laughs> I was streaming before. I was, uh... Streaming for about four hours a day trying to get less nervous on camera. It helped quite a bit. I wasn't just sitting there talking about absolutely nothing. Unfortunately, I got into a different way of doing things, and you know, I just sort of wander around while I was talking like this. Unfortunately, that's not what we do with videos. We sit here and we make buildings, and... Ooh. Or we could just wander around and find nice things like this. Oh. I'll, I want to see this from the other side. It's such a thing of beauty. It's a majestic mountain of overhangs and floating blocks and purple trees. <laughs> well... I do want to do something with this. Oh. Eh? Hey. Jungle, extreme hills. Jungle, extreme hills. That's kind of trippy. Okay, what I really want to do is I want to go get some resources today. The beginning of a world is always kind of slow. Usually I just go spend a few hours and skip right by it. But we'll get it all on camera. There's a cave right here. There's a ravine over there. Hmm. Let's check out the cave first. Up, up, up. Hello, cave. Now, this is a lot better than the first cave. Little 3x3x3 three by three by three area? No. Aluminum. Aluminum. Oh, my inventory is full. Uh. Okay, we're just gonna put this back. Like it was always here. Hey. Hello. Hi, Creeper. Hello, Creeper. How are you? Nope. Ah. Uh, I gotta stop talking to these guys. None of them are friendly, and they won't let me do anything. Okay, so... I guess I can live in the cave right here. Uh, now it's getting dark. Yeah, this is going to be my house for the night. Maybe for a while. So let's just light it up. I will... Hmm. Do I have any wool? No. Lots of trees. Little tiny trees, but they're trees nonetheless. 
skeleton. Ooh, a bow. Ah, I got a chest. I'm gonna start farming these. I don't need to keep them with me. I might go plant that. Leather. Yeah, let's take my sugar cane and go plant it out by the river. Just have tons and tons and tons of stuff later. There are a lot of things that I want to do with this world. Um, the overall goal is going to be to make a little town. And there's going to be a maid and maybe a doll or something else where I can fill each structure so that it feels like it's a real town. Like it's alive. Like the town was actually here. Like the villager. The vanilla villagers. They come with their own entities and they have their own ideas and what they need to do. Like they want to trade with you to get things. Uh. Yeah, the whole idea is just to. Make a town. I don't. I suppose there's a whole lot. Blah, 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 blah. If I say things like that, it makes it okay if I stumble on my words, right? Maybe? L no. <laughs> uh, so I'll just gather a few materials here. One of the things I want to do is replace all of these cruddy tools. These are going to break. They're going to be really, really bad. I really hate that snapping noise. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this book and we're going to make things out of the book. The easiest thing is just to make a bunch of sticks. I'm going to need some of these for coal, but the rest are going to be patterns. Patterns, I want a chest. And pattern. Some wood. You know, I could probably just leave these up here. Wait a minute, I need a crafting table. What was that? Hello? I'm gonna go hide in a hole. Hello? That was a really weird noise. Hi! You have a pickaxe! You didn't give me the pickaxe. Okay, so one of the mods in this pack is special mobs. That pig is a hat. That's a really nice hat. Hey pig! Ow! Spider! Here, pig. Come here. I got a little something for you. Your hat is mine! <laughs> Should probably light up the surrounding area. Get a few less mobs trying to come and eat my face off. Although there isn't a whole lot of space they can spawn on with these leaves here. Where's that sugar cane? No sugar cane. Hi, zombie. Where's my... Oh, there's a sugar cane. I have absolutely no sense of direction. The only direction I know is up, is up, and down is down, and this way goes into a cave. I tend to get lost really easily. I keep track of things by... Reference by location. If there was signs, then I could keep track of the names on the signs. If there was different monuments, like ge geographic features, like that mountain thing over there. Hi, zombie. And we got even more friendly guys. If there was more of the things out in the world for me to keep track of, then I could do it. Wandering around in a tundra is not the best idea. Uh, I made another crafting table. Let's just turn this into a crafting station and be done with it.
And did I make one out of planks? No. Okay, so this is the basic setup for a Tinker's Construct building. Uh, works. It's a workshop. It's a dedicated area for making your tools. It's, uh... uh... To be clear, I am the author of Tinker's Construct. There are other authors working on it now, but for the longest time it was just me. I think I'm just gonna shove these over here. Uh, put this in the floor. This side, part builder, tool station. I need some more inventory room. Do. And I'm just gonna go through here and I'm gonna get every pattern out of here. I'll be back in a moment. I made some patterns, I made a few tool parts, but now I'm missing a sword blade. Really want one made out of flint. Some gravel right here, we'll just there we go. I'll just take this, put it in here. Let's make some tools. I want a long sword. Make it out of flint. This shall be pig sticker. And a pickaxe. I like to name my stone tools putts. So this is stone putts. And this is dirt putts. If I have to replace this thing later, it would be Dirt Putts Mark II. This is Wood Putts. I don't have any string yet. So, no bow. No arrows. I do have wood. Don't have a lot of food. I guess I could start up a simple farm. Let's do that. Get sticks. I'll just take one of these and we'll come over here. Sticks. Got a mattock. You shall be farming thingy. <laughs> I don't know why that one's called farming thingy, but every single one is. Oop, tool binding. And there's that noise again. Okay, I got a brain. Brains are tasty, right? Tasty, tasty brains. I wish I could eat this. Then I could become a zombie and brains. Brains. Okay, we're just gonna clear out a spot over here. Where I can just plant a few seeds. Nothing too fancy. As the Maddock is made specifically for farming, it works on wood and dirt, but not sand and not stone. Dirt. Oop. A little more. Just carve out a little area here, and... You know, cotton you can't really eat, but... I have seeds, so let's plant it. You can always replant them later. And some geishals. Seeds. Okay, that is not going to help with my immediate farming. I'm going to need more food than that. So let's put some pigs. Here, pig. You look tasty. The last pig I said that to lived, I think. Hopefully. If it didn't live, then I just lied on video, and there's evidence for that. <laughs> That's the other thing about making videos. If I say something that is different... Hat! Hat! Yeah, Gimme! Fez! <laughs> I have the Fez. This is a pretty good hat. Hi, pig. Bye, pig. 
more things of ham. I kind of want at least a quarter of a stack. My sword is going to break very soon. Pigs. Hello, pigs. Well, I don't have to worry about cocoa beans. There's a ravine. Another one. Let's try going inward. There's another thing about starting a world. It's that there's a lot of things to do. You have to... You basically have to survey the area and then find everything that you can right away. And it's hard to do that while you're just moving around and talking. Talking and trying to do that many things at once is a problem. There's a chocobo. I don't have any geishals. No geishals. Ooh. Ooh. This is the best spawn ever. What is this? Seasonal forest. Another ravine. And a dungeon. And a dungeon. <laughs> uh, I put in a random number. And some letters. And a period. That is not what I expected at all. Heard a pig. Hi, pig. Ah! No! Oh. Ooh. Hi. Maybe I can... There goes my sword. Punch the pig! Punch the pig! Ah, uh, that's kind of freaky. There's another pig. Hi. And die with the hunter. Today we hunt the rare species of animal known as the pig. They are found in the plains biome, as well as everywhere else. And jump! <laughs> I wonder if I can... Jump! Wow! Yeah, I can way jump over that. No problem. Ooh, feathers. I think. Chocobo feathers. Uh, not quite as useful as chicken feathers. I'm sure they make vanilla arrows, but vanilla arrows is not what we want. We want Tinker's arrows. And it's getting nighttime. Thirteen will have to do. Let's go. I'll cook this up, and we'll go underground and start mining. No coal yet. Don't really have a problem with wasting planks. I want a door, some pressure plates. At least one pressure plate. Here we go. And I'm just going to barricade myself in here. Things keep trying to come in, let's keep them out. Ah. Uh, Put the door right in the center. Oop. Won't worry about making it look pretty yet. I mean, safety is more important than aesthetics. Only slightly in Minecraft. Only a little bit. Ta-da! <laughs> that is one awesome wall. It'll keep me safe forever. And the sad part is, it probably will. There's nothing that can get through there. And down into the mine we go. We have some jungle wood. We need the planks. I'll take the sticks. The bow will be kind of useful. I'm sure that the cobblestone would be more useful as a building block than the dirt is. Yep. First thing I need is some coal. I'm going to run out of torches fairly soon. And those zombies, they just... 
I am the only wor thing in the world with a brain, other than the angry zombies, because those things apparently are holding their brains in their pockets. But since I'm the only thing with the brain, they really want me. Oh, there's more dungeon. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, if you look in here. This is kind of big. It's kind of all over the place, too. Oh. I don't think I want to go in there. Uh, blazes are a bit much at this point, and here's an actual entrance into the place. Hi, zombie! Uh, yeah, let's not. I'm, I'm out of here. I will find somewhere else to mine at. Jump! Da, 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 da. Too many things. Too many things. Let no. Uh, yeah. Nope. Enough of that. If there was a ravine on the outside. I think that'd be more fruitful than trying to assault a dungeon before I have anything worthwhile. Over here? Oh. I wrecked something. Fly! Oh, no. Ah. Dang you, leaves! Let's try that again. And. Fly! Ah. <laughs> eh. Eh. Ow. I think I broke my ankle. That's okay. Because apparently a broken ankle heals in about three seconds. Oh. Yeah, right over here. Jump. Apparently just jumping with this thing causes his problems. Hello? Anybody home? Doesn't look that way. There's some amber, there's some aluminum. There's a pre built ladder here. Sort of. Close enough. Ed almost. Doesn't quite go down all the way. Just light it up. I like to put torches on the right. This isn't really a cave. Wow, this is a really small ravine. This world. I. <laughs> Perfect spawn, not so good on the caves. Uh, ah. Okay, well, there's always the alternative. We can go make a mine shaft. Just dig straight down. Dig, dig, diggy. Double, don't dig straight down. Digging straight down is a problem for your health. Mostly because you'll fall in lava or you find another ravine and fall into that. Staircase is good. There are some advanced digging techniques. You play with vanilla Minecraft and you're trying to get all of the ore out of an area with either. You're trying to get all of it, or you're trying to do it in efficient time. There goes my pickaxe. Stone putts, serve me well. There are grid patterns, there are spiral patterns, there are... Pretty much any way that you can dig in a pattern and make a maze out of is how you can do it. Some of them are more efficient than others. Like one of my favorite ones is to take a grid. It's 33 blocks long, and it has three spaces between each mine shaft. You go to the end, you make a tunnel, you go to the end of it, then you make a right turn, you dig three blocks, and you turn around, and then you have a pattern that goes right back to your main channel. Wherever you make the thing, 
You can just make that one by two, or you can make it a nice three by three tunnel so you know where to go. I would really like to do something like that, only with mine shafts and carts, so I can make uh, make an actual mine out of it. I don't think I've ever made an actual mine with the mine carts, chest mine carts. They with the chest mine carts, you can just lay them down, and then you can just transport materials back and forth. Hi. Ah. Uh, that's not a cave. It's not bad either. I just need to find out where I can go from here. Aha. Uh, maybe it is a cave, and I'm standing on the cave. Or maybe it was just some gravel that collapsed. Uh, oh, I came down right here. Let's not just tear up my staircase. Uh, mining is some of the most interesting footage you could have, right? I mean, watching the same thing happen over and over and over again. Those. I gather that. Oh, there goes my pickaxe. Ah, uh, so much for that. Let's go repair my pickaxe. I gather that a lot of people watch Minecraft just for having something to listen to. It. It isn't so much to have the. It isn't so much to watch me doing what I'm doing. Especially when I'm sitting here mining a tunnel like this down into the bowels of the earth at a very slow pace. It's more just to see, listen to the sound of your voice. Uh, I could see people doing that. As a mod developer, sometimes I would put on music or I'd put on videos or something as background noise to where I have a lull in the... like, I don't just sit there and code all the time. I'm sitting there, I need to think, I need a break every five minutes, usually. I'm like, yeah, I gotta do this, and... typing at 120 words per minute with code tends to get really repetitive, and my hands need a break. Then, my mind doesn't really need a break, my mind's still churning, but... Uh, there's something visceral about typing and just having getting your words from your brain onto the screen. There, there's something special about that. I'm going to need another pickaxe. This is incomplete. Stone, whoop. Lag. Just put this there, this there. This is stone putts. Say hello to stone putts. Uh, Mark two. Stone putts Mark two has a. Um. That's a stone binding instead of a wooden one. I'm going to leave this one for ores and various things. Seeds. We have two torches. Let's turn those into actual torches. There we go. I think I'm going to leave it here. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping this video turns out better than the last one. I'm still experimenting with styles. I'm experimenting with topics. The whole experimenting thing. Uh, also, I'm trying not to be nervous on camera. It's a little bit hard at the moment. And now that I'm talking about it, I'm more nervous again. Okay, well, I'm nervous, so bye-bye. Have fun.